welcome back to our channel guys so we have and set here the 100 watt solar powered floodlight with the solar panel we're not going to be talking about the solar panel and the floodlight but instead we'll be talking about the remote control for the solar powered floodlights these floodlights are sell globally from various suppliers and manufacturers that produces solar powered panels and floodlights generator inverter charge controller right when these products reaches the customers there are oftentimes challenges with how to use the remote control or you might have challenges with installing the batteries to the remote control or you don't know how the functionality of the remote control works so in this video I will be demonstrating to you how to use these remote control to control your solar powered floodlights there are times where it is difficult for you to find a supplier to supply you with a remote control in the event that the one that comes with your product stop working or there is a defect in the spring system at the back of the remote control right here you might have challenges trying to locate a new supplier to produce a remote control for you to continue using your light there are many different places that you can go to get these remote control you can get them online like from Amazon AliExpress Alibaba you can try your local stores as well to locate these solar powered remote control and you can contact your supplier the person who you bought your solar floodlight from to see if they have any in stock that matches the solar powered floodlight that you would have purchased before it is very important when selecting a remote control it is very important when you are sourcing your remote control for your solar light that you ensure that it is working it is one that actually matches the solar power light that you are trying to find the replacement for which is very difficult because there is no serial number or coding for these remotes that definitely match back with the one that you use unless you contact your supplier or manufacturer who might know the, the, um, the control number for which remote matches the actual light for you to go to the open market and purchase these remote control but before you say that your remote is not working there are certain things that you must do to determine if the remote is not working First, you must ensure that you install the batteries in the light in the remote control. So before you ensure that you open the back of the covering where the batteries are, there are two springs there, as you can see. One reflecting negative and one reflecting positive. So these are our batteries. So this side is the positive side of the battery. This side is the negative side of the remote control. This side is the negative side of the battery right here. So you want to ensure that this flat surface go against the spring like this. And you do the same thing with the other one. There's a spring there ensure the flat surface not the one with the positive here this flat surface here goes to the spring that way you know for sure that your batteries are placed in your remote control properly then you would point the remote control to your solar floodlight press the word on and it will turn on as you can see the light is on right now 
you can use your remote control to turn it off that that's the first thing you need to check before you assume that your solar light is not working or the remote is not working you need to check the battery connectivity first also apart from your remote control may not be working you need to ensure that the solar light here is actually working because you can have instances where the remote is okay the remote batteries are connected properly but you did not charge the solar light so in that case if the solar light is not charged what you would need to do you would need to connect it to the solar panel here that we have in this box you will need to ensure that you connect you put the solar panel in the sun and not just the solar panel alone should be in the sun you should put both the solar panel and the light in the sun to charge if you haven't connect if you haven't installed it as yet so you ensure that you connect the solar panel to this connector right here ensure that it's plugged in properly and place the panel the solar panel in the sun facing the sun the panel part where you see the blue line the monocrystalline that part should be placed in the sun let me demonstrate to you the solar panel okay so we have unset now the solar panel so this is what the solar panel looks like this is actually a solar panel for 100 watt solar floodlight so this is about 15 hmm, around 15 voltage let me see it's a 12 watt it's a 6 volt solar panel it's a 12 watt solar panel good enough to charge a 100 watt solar light so this is the connector right here so what you need to do is to ensure that this connection is made with the solar light so this one is for the solar light this one is for the solar panel so you connect it properly right so you connect it like this you see your solar light is currently being charged and we are not outside in the sun this is just the ray of the sun from indoor that is causing this panel to charge the solar light as we speak right here because the card is connected but if I was to cover it up like this the charging will stop going to auto mode the light will automatically turn on because I had already set the remote to auto turn on this light so whether or not the panel is connected to the light it will automatically turn on once it sense darkness and in this case it's because I turn the panel face down so if I bring back the panel to a standing it will go back into charging mode as you can see right here right now right so that's one other thing that you need to check before you assume that the remote is not working to check to see if the light is actually charged before you make that assumption okay so if you have done all of that and it's still not working what well, that's when you can say that you need a replacement um, remote control and in some cases the battery can be done so if the battery uses which is its useful life that will prevent it from turn on as well so there are many factors that you must check before you make the assumption but if it is the case where you know that the remote the remote is damaged or you just need a replacement remote what you can do is to go to amazon or you can reach out to any supplier especially the person that you had bought the light from to see if they can supply you with a remote control because what you don't want you don't want to buy a remote control let's say this one here i'm going to try to turn it on it cannot work with this light because this remote is not for this light so it will not work so you want to ensure that you get the right remote control for your floodlights when you need to replace your floodlights 
and we have on our channel other demonstration videos to how to select those remote control you can watch any of those videos there and how to contact suppliers as well you can watch those videos on as well there are times when a different remote control can definitely work with your floodlight a universal remote so in those videos i have discussed how you can select universal remote control to use on your solar floodlight thanks for watching guys see you again in another video please subscribe please like and share and leave a comment in the comment section we will respond to your concerns thanks for watching